Okay, let's get into this today. Really serious stuff going on. We got a lot happening around the world, but one of the most amazing things that's been coming out is this conversation about the power grid. Now, here's a clip by Clayton Morris talking about the power grid. Let's watch this. Power grid is in deep trouble, and the administration just took one major step to ensure its total collapse. <laughs> this is not fantasy. The EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency, just passed a new rule that will destroy our power infrastructure in the United States. So what exactly is going on here? Right. Well, here's what the EPA just issued, and it's a new carbon pollution standard update, oh. and it will affect all of us. Greenhouse gas standards and guidelines for fossil fuel fired power plants. And in it, it breaks it down in multiple ways. Well, I have great hope with that. Even if Uncle uh, uh, Sniff, you know, Uncle Sniffy comes over, or Uncle Scratch and Sniff, whatever you want to call him, you know, the Manchurian who scratches and sniffs, you got to watch out for him. Uh, Manchurian Uncle Sniffy, he comes over and he will smell what's coming next. He has an ability to smell the children. He has an ability to smell people in appropriate ways. Uncle Scratch and Sniff, you know. We got to really watch out for what he's doing because at the end of the day, there's all kinds of wicked and evil, nefarious deeds that are being allowed. And you know that there's a marionette practice taking place. In other words, he's not really in charge of this narrative, but they got him dancing on a marionette, so it still allows him to be Uncle Scratch and Sniff, whose uh, GPS system is an Easter bunny and still fulfills the duties of a Manchurian candidate. So when you see these things happening, we recognize they are setting up catastrophe, but I got hope in this. Don't run away. There's hope in this because the Lord will have the final say in all that's coming. Now, with this power grid conversation, comes another narrative that so many people have been talking about and seeing. And I believe that there's real things happening. There's man-made scenarios happening. And somewhere in the middle, they're meeting and it's being used for a narrative. What do I mean by that? I mean that they are going to say, and as I've prophesied, solar issues are going to happen. Solar issues, solar storms, a geostorm. I believe we are being set up and even psychologically set up, as well as literally set up for the greatest geostorm in the history of modern man. I believe that's coming, along with earthquakes, all these things. They're going to say, look at this solar flare. Look at the solar storm. Solar flares are going to be a watchword. We've prophesied this for three years, that it was going to increase and increase more, and here it is. And they're going to use this in conjunction with the power grid narrative to use one or the other to get the ultimate end they want, which is decimated United States, okay? But here's what I wanna to say to you. Not today, not on our watch, in Jesus' name, and even if they pull this off, there's another round coming. Let's watch this clip on sun activity, very recent, watch this. All right, this is the 22nd of, of May, 919. There is something going on right now on the sun. Look at I, this. I want you to watch this. This is live feed of the sun right now. So when you're looking at this, you get to understand the scope. This is live on the sun. Elijah, can we put it on the screen? Let's look at it over here. Okay, let's look at it on the screen here. I want you to see this. I want to be able to point at it. Let's play it. But when you see this, the earth would be the size of a pencil eraser right there. If you put the earth in this picture, it's the size of, roughly, if you took a pencil and polka dotted this image with an eraser, that size of that dot, or the fingertip dot right here, would be as big as the earth in this mess. This is a solar flare on the sun. And when you're understanding what's going on, you realize this is really happening. Now this is, I think, amateur video. Somebody looked at this themselves with an amateur telescope. It's pretty wild when you consider this. So there is real things happening. You can see this going on, and this does have gravitational pull issues. It can mess with things. But I believe there's more to this, in the words of Transformers, than meets the eye. I think what's really happening here is, yes, there's real things taking place with the sun. Yes, there's signs in the heavens. Yes, there's all these things taking place. But in addition to that, they want to use this narrative to try to bring this nation to its knees. And I'm telling you, God has different plans, even if they pull off some of this nefarious activity. Is there anything that we should highlight more on the sun video?
Let's go to the next clip that I want to show you today. And this is this. Before we do, let me look right at you. I really hope you're reposting this and sharing this because I'm about to get into some things that are going to greatly benefit you in your life and in your heart. And you know, we have a newsletter out right now. We've got all kinds of information showing you where we've been, what we've been doing, what your partnership does for us. We even gave you an aircraft update last month, and it's exciting what has happened because of you guys. Um, and we're able to reach so many more people to touch that million for a billion narrative. And I'm so grateful for those of you that are part of this. But let me continue uh, down this road. So first of all, there's the power grid issue. Then you see solar activity happening. And now we recognize that there is, well, there's an argument for weather manipulation because you can see it when you look at it through infrared or how they do it on a map of the United States. A person recently pulled up a map of the United States and during some of these events, there was strange magnified invisible lights happening that were caught on the spectrum. I want you to see this and then think about, okay, weather's been out of control, things are different than they've been, what is going on, and this could maybe bring more insight into some of this manipulation that could be happening. Please, let's put this on the full screen, and I can just go in the corner. Let's show this clip, Elijah. Everything looks pretty normal, right? There's no lines, no... Oh, well, there's kind of something there in the middle, but... Watch no. this. Oh, there's something there. Normal map. More radar. And then we jump forward to April 25th. Not too long ago. What the hell is that? What just happened there? What the hell is that? Did you see all that? It's all like those every, lights? Every the major circles? city. There it is again. It's like a huge burst of radiation. That's not good. And so we go up to... Uh, April 5th. Look at that. It's happening again, but this time it's just in the center of the country. Is this some type of weather manipulation, or is this like a, a wide gamma burst of something from the sun? And then we go to May 3rd, Look at that. yesterday. The this whole, one's pretty blatant, like the whole country. Nearly the whole country. Like, watch this. Look at that. Except for Colorado and Wyoming. <laughs> but it's pretty strong. Here? It seems like the bulk of it is like coming from this area. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. It's like the Yellowstone Something area, I think. People ask me, they say, is that what this is? Is this signs in the heavens? Well, I think prophecy, when you see these things, well, let, let me show you the scripture. Is this the one you're talking about? I believe it is. Yeah. Luke 21, 25. We'll go to yep. the board here. It says, and there will be signs in the sun, in the moon, and in the stars, and on the earth, distress, distress mm -hmm. of nations. Jesus said this mm -hmm. with, get this, perplexity, perplexity. Mm -hmm. See that word perplexity, it means enigmas, yep. things that, that you don't understand, you don't know how to solve, what's going on. The sea and the waves roaring. Let's roll mm -hmm. to verse 26 since you brought it up. Yeah, um, let me pull that up. It says, so, men's hearts failing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. Now let's look at that one more time then. It says men's hearts failing them. Mm -hmm. What does it take for somebody to basically have a heart attack because they're looking at what's coming? It says men's hearts failing them from fear. Mm -hmm. And the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. Now, I want to make a point about this. If people's hearts are failing them from fear, we know this is not talking about believers. Mm -hmm. I think this should encourage you. Yeah. This is not talking about you. Now, if you're not a believer, you need to repent. Give your life to Jesus so you don't spend a crisis eternity in hell. That's called prophetic evangelism. <laughs> yeah. And I mean it. You really need to give your life to Jesus. And we love you, by the way. We love you. I, I was uh, thinking about all the people that are getting born again right now, and they're standing up for the Lord and all this. But listen to me. You need to really give your life to Jesus. But Jesus said, he didn't say, oh, no, when you see these perplexing things coming on the earth and you can measure them. This means that there's a measured expectation. Something's coming. And in the Greek, it means through our atmosphere. 
Now, you'll have to make your own conclusions on that because it doesn't specify what's coming through the atmosphere. It could be an asteroid. Maybe it's a falsified alien invasion. Maybe something's going on. But what it's really talking about is men's hearts failing them from fear and the expectation of those things which are coming on the earth. That means that there's something measurable which is coming down upon mankind and men know it's coming. And it's so terrifying that their hearts give out. What would... (laughs) What magnitude of event would you know that is coming that would make people go, ah, the old ticker, and they drop over? What what would make them do that? You know what what it really is? This is unbelievers looking at things they can no longer control, they no longer have answers for, they no longer can solve the enigmas or the perplexing issues that are coming. But you notice This has nothing to do with believers. Why does it have nothing to do with believers? Because Jesus says in John chapter 14, verse 1, he says very clearly, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. So you see people that are fearless when they know the Lord. In other words, Jesus said, you cannot be afraid. You don't have to fear this stuff. You don't got to be afraid. You can lean into it. I'll lean back from it. Yeah, no, I, I think that's so true because God does not give us fear. So when things are fearful, when you see things that are out of your control, right. and he says, do not be afraid, right. it, it's, it's, it's right there. It's, it's right written. there. It's written, uh, do not be afraid. Trust in the Lord. It's it, when you have thoughts come to you, when you have certain si- situations come to you, and your first initial response is fear of, oh, no. Yeah. Like this is going to happen. That has to do with unbelief because yeah. you're not believing God. That's why it says clearly in Peter, cast all your cares on him yes. because he cares for you. The antidote to fearing perplexing things that are coming on the earth yeah. is Jesus. Putting yeah. your trust in him. And if Jesus said, let's put it on the, well, it's on the board. Let me show it one more time. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. Believe also in me. In other words, if you believe in God, but you believe in Jesus, he gave you permission. Jesus wouldn't have said, let not your heart be troubled if that was impossible. If that was impossible. In other words, you don't have to fear what's coming. You can be bold in the day of adversity. He gives us boldness. Yeah. It says I like to that. ask and it shall be given unto us. So when we pray scriptures over us, yeah. uh, ourselves, God, I ask for boldness. God, boldness. I ask for strength right now i yep. ask for the peace of god right now that's right and he gives it to you because it says ask and it shall be given unto you so that's when you right. know that when you when you ask and you legitimately cast your cares onto the lord it solves a lot of problems it really does solve a lot <laughs> yeah. of problems that's a good word <laughs> let me look right at you for a moment you know, I, I want to say this to you. You know, as we're going through this, there's more and more manipulation happening. There's more things taking place. I mean, I think there's even, Ali, there was a, a wild blizzard, hailstorm, intense snow that just happened. Get this. In Mexico. What? Now, I'm not saying it's never happened in history that these things don't happen from time to time. But there is uncharacteristic issues taking place. N- just strange, out of the norm. You know, Elijah, it's happening all over the world, and you're seeing it take place, and they're predicting. I don't know if you guys can remember 2005 Hurricane Katrina stuff. Yes. Way back in 2005, and they had to put people in the Superdome, I think it was, because Hurricane Katrina hit, and that was during the 2005 storm season. They're predicting that this storm season is on par, if not worse, than that season already. And I just have to believe it's because, number one, the signs of the times. Mm-hmm. There's natural things happening. Not everything is a conspiracy. But there's also some weird stuff going on mm-hmm. where there's manipulation because I think they're afraid of the one they don't want to come back into power getting into power. It's strong. But look at what happened in Mexico. Let's just show this clip real fast. Mm-hmm. Look at this. This is Mexico. Not a common sight in Mexico. What in the manipulation of weather is going on here? Wow. That's wild. Now again, this stuff can happen in in 
you know, there's strange events that happen no matter what's going on. But for all this to be happening at once, the storms we just saw through the Midwest, you know, we were just in Nebraska at Lord of Hosts Church and looking at all the things that took place there. We, as we came past an airport, you could see planes that were torn apart on the runway and a hangar busted open because a tornado went right through it. We saw the path of the tornado in the aftermath. And I'm looking at all this and the Lord is saying that the days are getting nearer. In today's world, there's a lot of noise and sensationalism by many claiming to hear the voice of God. They cite their predictions and their own experiences. Now, some are legitimate and some are not, but how do we know the difference? In some ways, prophecies become a mystified topic. Yet as global chaos is obviously increasing, it is imperative that we must hear and know the voice of God and true prophecy. I'm Joseph Z, and I just wrote this book, Demystifying the Prophetic. Now, it's taken me my whole life of walking through the Word of God and my own encounters and experiences to bring this to a place where we land at biblical truth and sound doctrine, yet absolutely celebrating the precious gift of prophecy. In this book, I deal with everything from trances and dreams, visions, deja vu even, different types of prophets, we talk about it. We even cover the topic of false prophets. How do you determine who's true and who's false? We talk about discerning the times, navigating strange encounters. People talk about angels appearing to them, entities appearing to them, they hear voices. All of these unique things we begin to deal with at a very powerful level with this book. I bring you straight to the written word of God. And I wanna to say to you, isn't it time we understand the purpose of prophecy? After all, it is the spirit of prophecy that gives testimony to Jesus. It's time for results in your life. It's time for you to begin demystifying the prophetic. This book will help you. I promise you need this book. It'll break you out of containment. It'll bring you to a place of clarity and it will open up the understanding of the voice of God and prophecy functioning in your life by the written word of God. This is gonna really help you. I encourage you to get your copy today by going to josephz.com. I wanna say a very special thank you to our partners. Whether you've been a partner with us from the very beginning, or if you've recently become part of our partner family, we simply wanna say thank you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you because it means so much that you're standing with us. We're accomplishing a lot together. And I'll tell you, if you're interested in becoming part of our partner family, I'd encourage you to go to josephz.com or text the keyword GIVE to 719-259-0029. You know, we want to welcome you to the family and we will be calling you. If you become a partner, we call you regularly and we love talking to you. Our team calls you. It's not a call center. It's our team. We love our partners. I hope you'll consider it. I hope you're praying about it. And I hope you become a part of our partner family today.